What is going on, everybody? Welcome in to Joe's Bowling Sports and Ministry Talks TV, where you get your bowling, your sports, your ministry, your talks, your TV, a bonus of some cooking. Guess what? You might even get a little bit of yarn over here, but that's every now and then because your boy do crochet. This video right here is very special. I know I'm late, but guess what? I'm doing it now, y'all. So don't judge me, but I am doing a video. This right here is called Five Things People Don't know about your boy this is a very special video to me because i had to really think hard about five things people don't know about me i mean this is really hard. i had to dig deep on this thing y'all i had to dig really deep and so with that being said let's get into these five things so the first one is y'all i used to dance for money <clears throat> excuse me i used to dance for money and guess what your boy is a very good dancer Yes, I'm a very good dancer, y'all. I'm considered around where I live to be a very good dancer. I pop lock. I'm more of a hip hop dancer, more of a pop lock, you know, a little, little lock, lock, lock every now and then. But yes, I can do that with my legs, my feet, my arms. I mean, I can do it either way it goes, not just with my hands, but I'm a very good dancer. Yes, yes, yes. Most people look at big guys and they say, oh, he's not going to be a good dancer. And then they're like, oh my God, dude, really can dance. He really can move. He's not just lazy. Yes, 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 that'd be me. I am a very good dancer, y'all. Very, very good dancer. I love to dance. I love to move around. I love music in general. Gospel music, hip-hop music. As long, as long as it's not degrading nobody or putting nobody down, I love to dance. All right, y'all. Second thing, let's get into this thing, y'all. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I almost could do 10 things, but I don't got 10 things. But how can I almost do 10 things? I only got five. But anyways, long story short, y'all. The second thing is, y'all. Guess what, your boy? I've always wanted to be a sports broadcaster, y'all. I've always wanted to be a sports broadcaster. I love sports. Really, I love basketball and bowling is my my favorite, y'all. I know a lot about basketball. I know enough about basketball where I can coach it. I really, really love it. I study the game. I'm kind of like a walking stack, stat box. I can remember players that I've never seen play before. I know stats of players that I've never seen play before because I've studied it and I know the game pretty well. I love the game of basketball. I absolutely love it. I love bowling the same way. I started bowling when I was 12 years old. And we're talking about right now I'm 37, so we're looking at approximately 25 years of bowling experience. So I've studied and seen different um, different types of bowling balls and different things happen in the game of bowling balls and the game of bowling from lane surfaces to changes to uh, different type of surfaces of lanes to different type of material bowling ball from plastic to urethane to resin reactive i've seen different core developments i've seen all of that so i know this game in and out i love the game of bowling um only thing that stopped me from going pro really is my physical game which i gotta lose this weight to work on my physical game but i am a good bowler i am almost a 220 average bowler even being overweight y'all so i do know this game really really well that is the second thing you, you know about me y'all the third thing i want you to know about me is y'all guess what i've always wanted to attend the university of north carolina that was my first school of choice coming up i was like north carolina i love the colors blue and white loved it always loved those colors i always thought those colors was amazing i'm like they look good on you they bright people could see you coming and i knew nothing about the academics but the greatest basketball player to ever play the game went to north carolina which is michael jeffrey jordan so that was the thing that really pulled me into wanting to be a part of the university the university of north carolina guys so that's the third game. The fourth thing here, guys, is, y'all, I faked to get glasses and messed up my eyes for real. And now I need them for real. Yes, I did. I went to the glass, went to the eye doctor. And yes, I did fake to get glasses. I faked to get those glasses. Yes, I did. I faked to get them, y'all. Don't judge me, but I faked to get glasses. I did. Uh, I wore them for many years, didn't need them, didn't need glasses at all, I mean, I wore them for years, I uh, had different kinds, I did many things with glasses on, and did not need the glasses, y'all, I don't tell many, that's, tell many people that secret, because that is embarrassing. 
but I did, and they gave me glasses. But guess what? In the end, I really messed up my eyes for real, and now I can't see. So for all of you out there, do not force yourself to get glasses and you don't need them because it will mess up your eyes and your eyes will be tore up. Will be tore up just like mine's. Your eyes will be tore up just like mine's. And last and final thing, y'all. I used to be a game banger and I formed one of the biggest games in South Bend has seen. I was the originator. I caused a lot of issues and a lot of pain for a lot of people. If I could change, I would, but it's part of my deliverance process. Y'all, yes, I did. I formed one of the biggest games to ever, ever be a part of South Bend. Uh, it's called the Playboys. It wasn't originally supposed to be a game. It was supposed to be a neighborhood game. It wasn't supposed to grow across neighborhoods and neighborhoods and people and people all the different cities. I mean, different areas here in South Bend. It wasn't supposed to get that big. It wasn't supposed to go that far. It never was, but it did. And we caused a lot of problems. We fought a lot of people. We beat up a lot of people. Got in a lot of trouble for that. But yes, I was the originator of that. Me and one of my buddies sit around one day and I said, oh, we need to come up with us a neighborhood game. And we came up with the name Playboys. Yes, Playboys. And it was just supposed to be a lifestyle or something just to do. And something just to have fun with. We came up with colors, which was uh, white, black, and gray with our colors and silver. We had bandanas. We went and bought those. We started making t-shirts with our names on them and all of that. Uh, I was called a head honcho because I was the originator. Head honcho was my name. The daddy was my name. That was my name in the streets. Yes, I did that, but I regret it totally because, like I said, a lot of people got hurt. A lot of people got injured. A lot of people got shot. A lot of things. Um... But I look at that as a part of something that God was preparing me for a thing so I can be able to tell these teenagers that I am, that I'm over now, that, I, that, I'm, that I'm mentoring now, not to do and not to be a part of. And it does help. It does help a lot. So I think I'm not, I'm, I regret it, but at the same time, I thank God for it because he, he, he's using that a part of my story to help others. I'm so blessed by that. But yes. Y'all, this is so much fun. So much fun. This is exciting, y'all. This is five things you didn't know about your boy, J-O-E. Again, if you don't have me, pick me up, grab me, all that good stuff. Y'all, just don't look at the video. Grab me up. This is five things you don't know about your boy, J-O-E. I love y'all, and thanks for watching my video tonight. Y'all all have a blessed night. Bye, everybody.